Hey all, so in this video, I'm going to talk about Rahu Ketu placement in the Navamsha chart, how it affects you from the Navamsha chart. Uh, basically, we are going to focus on Ketu, okay? Uh, but we will take Rahu as well because uh, Ketu and Rahu uh, are always together. So if you want to purchase personal consultation or uh, a tarot card reading, or aura cleansing karma cleansing meditation audio you can contact me uh, you can check the website all the links are there in the website okay so let's start so k2 k2 is we know it's a headless planet and we are always scared about k2 that k2 will give a bad results or wherever k2 is placed it will take that thing away from you or basically you are not going to get a uh, good results or when ketu dasha comes uh, we are very much scared because we think that whatever materialistic pleasure we have uh, ketu is going to take away that from us okay so basically that is our fear right whatever ketu is in the first or the second so in the navamsha chart see navamsha chart is the fruits of your karma okay uh, whatever fruits you have done in the past life your karma is and also navamsha chart tells you about the areas of life you should work upon focus upon to mend it right so uh, wherever a planet is placed it has two aspects of it positive and negative right so you have to work uh, work on your uh, negative aspects and focus more on your positive aspects, right? So Ketu, Ketu is a headless planet. Ketu doesn't have head, right? Ketu doesn't have head. It is headless planet. Wherever it is placed in your chart, it represents confusion regarding that house. We are directionless regarding that house. We don't know how we have to deal with it, um, how we have to take it right um because ketu doesn't have head okay now we are always scared that ketu will harm us so let me tell you ketu is a very pious planet very pure planet ketu never cheats right ketu is a simple person who has pure and honest heart and ketu doesn't show off this is the original quality of Ketu I'm saying because no matter what, Ketu also has its own identity and its identity is that it is a very spiritual person. See, spiritual person doesn't mean that someone who doesn't have anything. Spiritual person means someone whose heart is very clean and pure. The negative negativity of this world doesn't exist. See, you see Devtas, all right? Um, they have everything okay uh, and uh, you see the idols of devtas it is decorated so beautifully so they have everything they have partner marriage relationships but they are not attached to it means if if you give them something they are okay if you take something away from them they are okay with it it doesn't affect them right so that is what ketu shows ketu ketu doesn't like to show off right so Ketu actually doesn't like to be in this Kaliyug, okay? Uh, why Ketu feels unhappy in the earth science, in the airy science? Because they are related to this 3D world, material world. And when in the Kaliyug, there is so much negativity, there is ego, there is fight, there is jealousy, there is hatred, there is obsession, okay? Because Rahu element is increasing there is no selflessness there is uh, no happiness everyone has become greedy right and the pollution is increasing and everywhere you see there are buildings there are uh, like phones and everything all the new technology and the natural things do not exist that much currently so that's why ketu doesn't like to be in this world because ketu wants to be in a beautiful place uh, which is natural uh, where there are plants where uh, where there are uh, mountains and clouds birds and the weather is very pleasant and there are trees and all these things so ketu wants to be uh, in that type of place okay but ketu doesn't get that type of atmosphere currently in this age right so ketu feels very unhappy to be in this place so ketu is a satyugi planet and when you uh, bring a satyugi planet 
a satyugi person in the kal yug then it will not be able to understand how it has to deal with these situations right so that's why uh, ketu represents confusion and restlessness and now when the person is directionless ketu doesn't know how you uh, have to deal with uh, the worldly things uh, so it can become negative uh, basically uh, many people say it represents your talent of course uh, it represents your talent but more than it it represents that you don't know how you have to deal with it because it's headless and you don't have any kind of experience regarding it now for the evolved soul basically they have experience so this also we have to see from the chart you have experience or you don't have experience in certain nakshatras okay in certain signs we can say ketu has experience if ketu is placed in the water signs in the dharmic signs especially uh, in its own nakshat in ketu's all the nakshatras okay and uh, in the pisces or in scorpio all the signs which are water signs and earth and sorry all the water signs moksha signs and dharma signs okay ketu is happy there and in uh, leo in only magha nakshatra okay but it we will not say it to be highly evolved okay ketu in the pisces is better uh, to call a person highly evolved right or uh, they are in the process of evolving so in that way and the dispositor is exalted dispositor is well placed dispositor is not afflicted by a malefic planets it is not in the enemy sign in that case we can say that ketu is well placed and you have a good experience regarding that house so you don't have to focus on that house you can go towards rahu so for most of the people uh, you will see afflictions because um the people are not completing their um the people are not completing their lessons properly for example in the past birth your lesson was to um experience loneliness okay and you did not complete your lesson properly so that lesson will be repeated in this birth okay you will get again ketu in the first house in uh, earth sign it you can get it or airy sign where it will show that you have not completed your lesson properly right when you are not able to uh, complete your lesson properly it shows that you cannot handle that situation properly if that situation comes in your life you will not be able to handle it okay so ketu cuts it off from your life so that first you can focus on rahu make it better and then you come to ketu so that you can experience ketu better so rahu ketu axis is a very mysterious axis where you are going towards ketu or you are going towards rahu there is always a tug of war always okay uh, means it can be till the end of your life also depending upon how much you work on yourself how much inner work you do to make yourself evolve right it depends upon it then you will uh, be able to maintain a balance between the both because the truth is that you have to maintain balance between rahu and ketu both you cannot just focus on only ketu you cannot just focus only on rahu right so that is ketu so that's why wherever ketu is placed in the birth chart we are not able to deal with that situation properly because we are confused we don't know what we have to do in the past life right let me tell you in the past life this situation became so much um problematic for you that you escaped it if ketu is not pl placed properly then the only reason is that your whole life was revolving around that particular house and you escaped right you were not able to deal with that situation for example um in the 11th house okay your task was to deal with the people or to do something for them but you were so much overwhelmed by this situation right you didn't have experience and you left it you did not complete it properly and then in the next life 
the same situation is happening again and now you have to complete it okay so whatever lesson the soul has to learn it has to complete it either in this life or in the past uh, or in the next life it is soul's choice but unless and until you complete your lesson you won't be able to escape it okay so that's why um it shows right so ketu doesn't like to follow uh, the reality of the world ketu is a deep thinker planet ketu is a wanderer and a direction test planet and ketu needs to uh, very much support of it just of its dispositor of jupiter okay because jupiter is the guru right uh, to make it work better right ketu also represents islam uh, because ketu uh ketu is a very spiritual planet and uh, ketu means detachment cutting off and many things uh resonates with islam so ketu represents islam although uh, many people say that uh, ketu uh, represents uh, sorry rahu represents islam but no ketu represents islam okay so ketu what ketu ketu hates ketu hates cheating ketu hates selfishness ketu hates showing off ketu hates when you only think about yourself right ketu hates obsession ketu hates attachment when you are attached attachment means your happiness is dependent upon other things okay when that thing is taken away from you you will not be able to be happy ketu hates greed you are doing something to get something in return ketu hates selfishness okay if you are selfish only thinking about yourself ketu hates ego means whatever you have in your life if you have ego or you are proud about it ketu hates it okay ketu loves peace and love right ketu hates when you all the time spend time on social media on chatting and doing unnecessary friendships with only people who do not help you in your soul growth at all right so ketu hates these things and when you go against ketu in your life if you have ketu in the first house basically and in the seventh house because first seventh is very important in your life right or you have ascendant lord conjunct with ketu or in the ketu nakshatra basically ketu many planet basically many planets in the ketu nakshatra then you can just understand that because i am talking of the navamsha chart so in the navamsha basically uh, if you have more planets in the ketu nakshatra ketu in the first house or ketu is very prominent right how to know ketu is prominent you are a very pure hearted person you do not like the physical reality you want to stay alone you love loneliness you love letting go although you are not able to let go that is other thing but you love letting go you are a deep thinker you are always confused in your life you always question why i am on this planet earth you feel directionless sometimes you sometimes feel you want to escape this world because you just do not feel happy to be in this world okay it is like from soul level you do not want this worldly things but it is rahu that is actually forcing you to go in this world okay so there is tug of war so if you have this type of thing then you are a ketu person and also if your desire is to get moksha somewhere in your heart okay and you all uh, want to serve the people these type of things and and you are very research oriented person and you are always okay to be alone you can spend your whole life alone it's not a problem for you then you are a ketu person so if you have ketu prominent in your chart and regarding wherever it is placed if it's placed in the first house you have to completely adopt ketu personality otherwise it will not give you good results okay if you become like rahu in the navamsha chart your life uh, will not be good okay you have to be like ketu so wherever it is placed in your navamsha chart if if you follow anything regarding rahu in that particular house you will spoil that house okay you cannot be selfish over there you cannot be greedy over there for example ketu in the 10th house if you work only because of your greed only because of 
you want something for example everyone works because they want but you are working for an organization and you you should mainly focus on that organization that i should do something for this company this organization for example you are teacher so your main focus should be on i should do best for these children and you should not think about money at all uh, if you do it you will not get it in the 11th or in the 10th both right so wherever it is placed you have to be selfless right ketu will reward you with everything you want everything you want just you have to learn to be selfless so all in all you have to learn to be selfless right and you have to reach that state where you are happy just like when the soul came soul was pure right you see a pure thing it has no negativity right and negativity of the outside world cannot affect it uh, if for example we take the uh, of the flower okay a flower is not affected by the negativity of this world in sunlight and in the rain it's still beautiful same way you have to become like a flower means your state of happiness never goes ketu wants you to become like light means light like feather okay so that you are just happy you are taking things easy okay you are not obsessing about something you take things easy even pain comes it's okay you relax you let go so basically letting go and just staying happy just surrendering to god right when you come in that state ketu will not take anything away from you right so ketu just wants you to teach that take life easy just relax surrender to god do your best don't let anything affect your happiness stay happy ketu wants you to stay happy so do it right ketu wants you to learn it so if you do it then definitely ketu will give you good results rahu basically is very sneaky very clever very attached very obsessed and one thing you have to remember if you obsess about anything in your life anything it can be then you will make your rahu very prominent and when rahu becomes prominent it brings too much hurdles in your life as well so if you be obsessed no planets will like it ketu will not like it saturn will not like it jupiter will just hate it venus may love it okay because venus is also uh, we can say a lustful planet someone who wants to enjoy all the materialistic comforts mars will say <laughs> it's all right <laughs> okay and uh moon moon is childish uh it will say well okay no problem <laughs> and mercury will say uh, let me research regarding rahu let me do friendship with rahu let me know rahu more and make it uh in my side okay so uh, this type of thing will happen all right because these are childish planets so the big planets the evolved planets will not like it so always let go and just relax whatever you have to get you will get you are uh, always clinging to the past always clinging to the past always thinking about the past and just getting sad not letting go why when how all these questions only coming in mind then how will you be happy just relax just enjoy it's okay it is life right by being sad by being worried can you change anything no right so just relax surrender and keep your mental state pure and clean that is what ketu wants to teach you if you reach that state you will see your pending karmas are getting cleared very easily okay and uh, you are able to get the good results in your life because if i give you my example uh my karmas always get cleared very instantly if i do something wrong in within few days or within 2 3 years it comes back to me right and that karma gets resolved okay so i don't know but this thing is very prominent whatever karmas i have done in this life all the bad karmas i think i have paid off all the karmas there are there is nothing more to pay uh because my karmas get cleared instantly okay so when you reach the spiritual state your karmas will get cleared instantly 
so uh, wherever ketu is placed in your chart become selfless don't be greedy uh, take it easy let go don't be obsessed if that thing is going away from you let it go relax surrender to the divine do your best just it and ketu will give you amazing results so i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe take care do comment bye